goodness. And of course, call the ambulance, pick well, up your people. We need uh, definite medical attention for Nate Robinson. And he just put Nate Robinson to sleep. Don't right. play boxing, brother. Nah. It's the hurt business, and Robinson could be hurt. And he'd be alright, Nate from the hood, he gonna shake that off. But like you said, you can play basketball, you can play football, but one thing, you can, it's two things you can't play. You can't play boxing, you can't play with this pimping. That's for sure. <laughs> That's right. for sure. Well, medical attention hey. now. Being administered, uh, and this is again why this you, is not funny. You know, you it's not good. Celebrity type matchups, Israel. They, um, they bring controversy the crowds. Uh, we look to get the crossover. Uh, Robinson doing this for his family, his brothers in the NBA, athletes across the world, and his children. But it didn't turn out the way he would have liked. Like you said, they tried to cross over, man. But you can't play this. All right, he's uh, he he he's okay. He's he he's okay. He got his ass knocked the fuck out. Uh, he was too wild. And, you know, I was talking about this funny enough that we was talking about that these guys right here, him and his brother, they got hands. Whether you like them or not, they got they they, they, they got some hands. But one thing for sure is Nate Robinson's going to have to live, live with for the rest of his life that he's got his ass knocked out by Jake Paul. And look, he is still struggling to get up. Well, for those who don't know, I'm Tishtree Controversy with Fight you 360com Isn't this my third Jake Paul fight covering? Didn't he, he, he had the two YouTube fights, right? I don't remember. Lord knows I cover a lot of fights. But this is his, is this his four fight second professional? Talking about who he gonna fight or whatever. Listen, I guess fucking KSI, this shit was ugly, bro. This shit was ugly. Let's see if we can get you guys a replay. Oh. Put his ass down. Ooh, an uppercut. It went through the guard. Oh, man. Mm. Yo, Jake got hands. Jake got hands for celebrity boxing. He got hands. I guess we're going to have to hear his cocky as post interview. Hopefully, he takes it a little easier on poor old Nate Robinson. Like I said, he's got to live with that shit. Former multi-time. How many times he won a dunk contest? I saw at least two of them, but they're saying he was a three-time dunk contest winner. Damn, Nate. He went in there and got knocked out by a 23-year-old YouTuber. But, however, he got knocked out on a prestigious card. Undercard of Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones. So, you know, that's what's up. Anyway, listen in. Please subscribe. From Calabasas, by way of Cleveland, Ohio, he is the problem child, Jake Paul. <laughs> Jake Paul with uh, all kinds of uh, personality and, uh, yeah, polarizing to say the least, but Crazy. over 30 million followers across social media. And, and, and Snoop, you know all about And look, he's still talk. fucked up. Man, see, this is not my sport. You'll never see me get in the ring. I'm going to do my little <laughs> WWE stuff you know, organized, you know what I'm saying? But never this. I remember once upon a time I did get in the ring with Roy Jones Jr. for one round. Sparring? It was, I thought it was sparring, but he was really hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Roy Jones Jr., Mike Tyson Damn, coming Nate. up, looking forward to having shit all busted at open. ringside. And let's take a look at the punch stats here. Uh, Snoop, take us through the numbers, my friend. Right now, we got eight landed by uh, Jake Paul. We got ten landed from Jake, I mean, from uh, Nate Robinson, which you didn't really see those ten which was a 38 throw. He had 8 out of 38, 10 out of 56, 21%, 18%. It was a close fight, but those punches that, that Jake threw was more powerful, and they, they made more of an uh, effect on... Cleaner punches. You see, he fell down two or three times behind those powerful More punches. cleaner, effective Definitely punches. Definitely not the numbers you're used to accruing Snoop Dogg. Jake Paul, your listen, career him and his and brother, they got Snoop better. Let's just, I've been mean, watching their the fights. Tonight. Uh, it's incredible. Did you ever think... I mean, yeah, it's I been a crazy to get a year, let's face it, interview. but did you ever think you would see... Hey, I wonder if we're going to get a uh, post weigh-in interview. Like, shit, Jake Paul is motherfucking trending. Here, let's uh, take a little bit of a jump cut. All right, Morrow, thank you very much. Well, you were the problem, child. Tell us what happened there. You, you connected and put Nate Robinson down a couple of times. Tell us about the last shot. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, over him right. You know, he was better than I expected. He's athletic, super strong, obviously. First and foremost, I just want to, you know, say thank you to Nate. He's the one that originally called me out. I respect him and his boxing career, or I mean his basketball career has been amazing. And I don't want to take anything away from him. It takes a lot of balls to step in the ring. Not a lot of people can do that. And this, you know, this means a lot to me. 
It just feels good to win. He is a pro boxer. You've trained for this, and, and this is what you want to do for a living. Like it this or not. This is his first fight, and even though it's only your second fight, there seemed to be a big experience difference here tonight. Did you feel that? Yeah, I mean, I've been training my ass off, like, for the past year. I'm taking, I'm taking this seriously. There's a long list of opponents that I want. You know, Conor McGregor, Dylan Dennis. I'm going to knock them both out. Um, That's what you want to do next? You know, there's my brother. There's KSI on the line. Austin McBroom. You know, I, I want to be in this sport for a long time, and there's no, there's, I'm in love with it, so why not? What made you decide that this is what you want to do? For me, my he whole life fight has his been fighting. And so fighting, you know, it, it's, it's something I'm great at. Um, being from Ohio, a small town, uh, and, and making my way out to Los Angeles to, to fame and success and just fighting for it, fighting for everything. And people never believing in me, people hating, hating me, uh, being one of the most hated people in the world. Like, you know, I have to fight through that. It's not easy. Um, and so for me, this is a perfect sport. I, f I, found, my, I found my lane, you know, just, just four weeks ago. Uh, I was meditating, fell flat on my face, my nose, and we weren't able to spar until a couple days ago. So I had to come into this fight with a broken nose. Um, so this, this How whole. How did you fall on your face meditating? I passed out. I was like, <sighs> and I <laughs> passed out on the concrete. Uh, it's on camera, boxing. I have a boxing docu documentary coming soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. But now it's time to focus on my music. Park South Freestyle, Freestyle out now. He is polarizing. Go crazy. Like him or um, not. Last thought here. Are you willing to be patient with this? I mean, you're a guy who has so much popularity. It's instant fame. You've catapulted. Are you willing to be patient with the boxing career? Because you can't do this overnight. 100%. I'm, I'm willing to be patient. I'm only 23 years old. Uh, Deontay Wilder started boxing when he was like 21. So I have a long future ahead. And I'm just getting started. And I, and I talk a lot of shit, but I back it up. And, uh, you know, actions speak louder than words. Jake, congratulations. Thank you, Appreciate Jim, your Greg. time. He's a legend. <laughs> Israel Adesanya. Izzy, what's up, boy? All right, Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> You know, like him or not, the guy is polarizing, right? Like him or not. Mm, what else is there more to say? On District Controversy with Fight360.com, he knocked Nate Robinson the fuck out. <laughs> but please subscribe.